Hi, I'm General Marty Dempsey, the 18th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And I'm speaking to you from Bagram, Afghanistan, and I want to speak to you about Sexual Assault Awareness Month. First of all, I have to tell you, it bothers me a bit that we have to have a month dedicated to this topic. And it bothers me because it reflects the degree to which this particular crime, sexual assault, is affecting the force. But let me first tell you what I've seen here in Afghanistan. What I've seen here in Afghanistan this trip, but I've seen it in previous trips as well, is the incredible trust that binds this force of ours together. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, all of whom are willing to leave their forward operating bases or, or enter a vehicle or, or get into an aircraft and put themselves in harm's way. And they only do it because they trust each other. The man or woman to their left or right, the front or back, their chain of command. That trust is the foundation of our profession. And yet sexual assault erodes that trust. Sexual assault is a crime, but it also has such an adverse effect on the trust that binds the profession together that we must deal with it. Now let me assure you that your Joint Chiefs are dealing with it. We're taking a look at all the institutional policies. We're trying to better prepare prosecutors, better prepare counselors. We're trying to review the UCMJ, the Uniform Code of Military Justice. We're trying to do everything we can at our level to set the conditions to rid our profession of this terrible crime that erodes trust. But the truth is, you, that is to say, you who are serving at the pointed end of this thing, you who are the, the captains and the master sergeants, the lieutenants and the staff sergeants, the ensigns and the chief petty officers, you will have more to say about us solving this problem than I will. Because you'll see it, you can address it, you can stop it, and I need your help. Sexual assault is not only a crime, it's a scar on the profession. And if we all work together, I think we have a chance to rid ourselves of this problem in the ranks. And what hangs in the balance is trust. And without trust, we're not a profession. I'm General Marty Dempsey, the 18th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and I'm proud to serve with you.